coming up on this episode of uni chronicles Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Betty Mary. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome home. So let's jump right into the new video. So in today's video, I will be doing a come shopping with me for school and a study vlog for my first few weeks of school. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe and stay tuned for new uni chronicles content that is coming soon so yeah let's jump right into the video this pack and i'm here to buy some stationery and i'm looking for items that i'll need but stationery is so expensive these days my first tip for you all is to get cute stationery for an affordable price because stationery is what you really need even though the aesthetics is what you also want but Get cute stationery for an affordable price. So, we just came back from the shops and I'm gonna be doing a haul on the stuff I got. Um, so, <laughs> this is cleaning material, but that's not part of the main haul. Um, so, for stationery, I got these colored pens so like oh oh why is it not opening oh oh there's a plastic anyways i'll show you now i got my pencil case a small one because this is the one i'll be taking to school i got five clutch pencils so like just in case i lose one and all but yeah and then i got lead of the clutch pencils i got some highlighters and then I bought two notebooks, like notepads that I can write notes in. And then I got an exam pad. And so yeah, that's basically for stationery. And then also, whilst I was there, I found like a special on face masks. And I bought the face masks, which I will most probably use tonight, or like later now, like in a bit. And then obviously, the prescription I was telling you I went to fetch and the girl stuff so that's basically what i bought today the next step is to go clothing shopping to get a new wardrobe for school so let's get some new outfits so i went shopping today went to the factory and i bought a few items so i bought this shirt it was matching with my nails, but then I removed the nail polish because it was now coming off. So I got that shirt, and then I bought this long tee, long t-shirt. I bought this shirt also, it's this New York shirt. Right now, I'm actually going to write my to-do list of what I want to do tomorrow because tomorrow I just want to get everything done like some assignments done wake up early do the assignments so I just want to do a to-do list of what I want to get done tomorrow and yeah so let's do that so another tip that I have for you guys is actually planning out your day that means like how long you're gonna take studying how long you're gonna take doing a task how long you're gonna take during your breaks every single step of your day is very important to plan so it is currently 9 30 as you guys can see and i wanted to do one of my assignments tonight but i am so tired because i stayed up the whole night yesterday doing some assignments uh, so i need to wake up tomorrow morning fresh start and a fresh day and then complete the assignments that i can complete before i have class the next day well later on during the day um if you guys don't know i normally have afternoon classes which start around um, one or like 12 and so i've got enough time to actually like wake up and do some tasks i'm gonna set an alarm from half past six um so that i'm able to wake up and do my tasks that need to be done so let's do that
So the first thing I do every single morning before I do anything else is to actually wake up and do my Bible study and pray because involving God in everything allows me to do exactly what he wants me to do in that day. After I did that, I was able to do my task, my group activity, which was the PowerPoint activity, and I got it done an hour before I had to go to school, so I had an hour just to chill. So this is how the PowerPoint presentation looks like. I think I like it. It looks very pretty. I'm currently done with my PowerPoint presentation that I was doing. About an hour left before I have to leave for school. So like I've got an hour and 15 minutes. Tip that I have for you guys to study effectively is to clean your environment, like to really clean it. I'm not just talking about your room, your study room. I'm also talking about your laptop, desktop. You really need to like declutter it and like put things in the right file, things in the file to like really delete stuff off of your laptop. And I'm also just talking about cleaning your bag because your school bag can get really really messy sometimes so that would be really good to clean because i mean you want it to be nice and clean for you to use it nicely as mentioned before i'll be decluttering my desktop and putting things and arranging them in the correct files and deleting the things that are not necessary anymore so let's do that so this is how my laptop looks like now that i've removed any clutter i've decluttered my laptop and all i have right now is the things that i'm using at the moment i have to download other slides but i just wanted to show you how clean my laptop looks like and now next tip i have for you is to get dressed and look cute and cozy for school because why not so i'm now off to school because i need to go to the library and spend some time on doing an assignment so i'm going to school now and i'll catch you guys when i get there i'll probably pack a cup of coffee to go with me because i'm not trying to spend 40 rand on the coffee so let's go do that Come say hi to the, the vlog. Oh, did I make a mess on my shirt? No. Hi guys, this is Ashley. Ashley. So today is what? What date is it today? Wednesday, the fourteenth. Fifteenth. Yeah, the fifteenth of March. I'm gonna do an assignment right now. Hi. And here's Sammy. <laughs> yeah. Girl, the one that's doing is Tuesday. I'm trying to enjoy my public holiday. Hmm? Is you online or online? I think it's due the Wednesday after the public holiday. I'm trying to finish it by Saturday. So yeah, I'm going to do the assignment. Oh, okay. <gasps> today we got a few more deadlines for like assignments and all what i'm gonna do now is to write those deadlines in my daily planner in my weekly planner and on my calendar so that i make sure that i do not miss a single date and on top of that i'll also be putting reminders on my phone and on my laptop using the app notion and also the reminders app on my iphone just so that i really really do not miss the deadline so notion if you're watching this please sponsor my videos because i really do use your app so so i use notion to organize all my daily weekly monthly planning for like ministry school and youtube so i really do use it a lot it's very useful and also to keep certain dates in specific calendars so i was just putting in all my test week dates all my exam dates all my project dates and all my assignment dates that are due very soon So it is currently that time of the night where 
I just want to sit back, relax, sleep, and just crawl into my bed and not do any schoolwork because I do not have the energy to do schoolwork anymore. <laughs> but tonight I can't do that because I've got some assignments that I need to finish, project work that I need to finish for tomorrow. So I need to currently go to my table and actually do the schoolwork that needs to be done. I actually do the schoolwork. I'm just gonna make my table a bit more aesthetic, play some background, study lo-fi music, and just romanticize school because I need make school what I want it to be and just make it a better environment. So at this time of the night I am ready to take notes and do what I need to do to study well. So I take out my laptop to put some background music that's like lo-fi or something to help me concentrate. I take my lid So now it's time for note taking tutorial. I know you guys haven't asked for it, but I've learned a new style of taking notes and I'm sure you guys will be interested in how I do it. First of all, um, at these are the study materials that I use, which are like pen, pencils and a notebook. And so the first step that I took was to write my title in bold capital letters, which is kind of obvious because you need to do a title first. And then I did a subtitle then next, what I did was write out the main points of what I'm going to be doing. These mainly consist of chapter titles or like vocab and big ideas only. If it's necessary, I would definitely highlight it. If not, then I'll just leave it as blank as possible so that I'm able to read the notes later on whilst I'm studying. And after that, I will definitely outline any important headings that I'll write from there. If there's any important information that I need to write down in class, I will definitely try to keep it brief. And then I will definitely leave some space behind so that I can write or fill in that space when I get home. Because sometimes lectures speak too fast or too slow and I just need to keep track of that. If there's something interesting that's said in class, I'll definitely write it down. And if there's anything that hasn't been clear to me, I'll definitely ask some of my classmates. I haven't gotten like to the stage where I need to go ask a lecturer, but definitely ask some of my classmates. If there are any quotes that I take from the textbooks or the slides, I make sure to reference them and underline them so that I know that this is from the textbook. And also, I definitely underline the textbook titles. 
if there's any vocab that I need to write, I would definitely highlight it so that I know that I need to know it. But if I'm mainly doing my notes on like vocab only, I'll definitely write it out in Cornell style, style which is half side is the vocab, the other side is the definition, so that I'm well able to memorize it and see it nicely. This is for especially for like language subjects, which are like Afrikaans or whatever, any modules that deal with language. So yeah, that is how I take my notes in class and at home. I just then perfected how I needed to be. Thank you guys so much for watching tonight's vlog or today's vlog. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Make sure to comment the specific emoji I asked you to comment and make sure to like. Please do like. The like really does help pushing out my vlogs out for other people to watch. And yeah, once you're ready, you're never disappointed. If you're not born again, say the prayer of salvation, which is in the description box down below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.